Hello everyone, welcome to the 5th Kuala Lumpur International Conference on Social Science, Education, and Engineering. On 28 December 2024 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Okay, uh, the title of my research paper is Adopting XBRL Efficiently, a Learning Curve Based Strategic Framework. And this word XBRL stands for Extensible Business Reporting Language. So this study aims to develop a strategy selection framework for optimizing XBRL's implementations in Indonesia. The study links the strategy to the concept of learning curve. My complete name is Nur Romi Rahwani, but you can call me Romi. I am from Indonesia, study program of computerized accounting in Polytechnic Negeri Banjarmasin, Indonesia. Okay, this is the presentation agenda. Number one, introductions and then research methods, findings, uh, the research recommendations, and then conclusions at the end. Okay, uh, for, for those who doesn't know about what is uh, what XBRL is, I will explain a bit, um, just in a glance, what is XBRL. It, stand, it stands for Extensible Business Reporting Language, and it is a significant new information technology for the electronic communications of business and financial data. So it is a language that bridges the gap between business systems. So this the gap, it will be a bridge or uh, between businesses systems. So it's like a barcode. So if you see like this, how, how does a Max better best report? Because uh, in, in my recent paper, paper is, is about B2G reporting systems. And then maybe you want to know how the an XBRL best reports compared to the traditional one, which is PDF file, you will see like this. It is in Domi, and then this is uh, the barcode. So the barcodes, by using this one and then the applications in supermarket will understand that, that it is in Domi. And, and it's the taste is like this one. And then the same thing like income statement or financial statement from, the comp from a company, so if I look at this income 100 and the expenses, marketing, salaries, tax, and total like this. But in it is in, in the form of PDF file, but in the form of XBRL format, um, the company will send this kind of format to the, to the government agency. So and then uh, the machine will understand, oh, this is uh, the expenses and this is the marketing cost and this is the salary. But not only like that, it, and then not only like, not only those informations, but um, the XBRL best report also will inform us or inform the machines or the business systems about what the definitions of the marketing, the definition of salary. So every item in the XBRL best report will be explained in common definition. So every government will understand, uh, have will have the common understanding of the information that sent, uh, which is sent by the company. Okay, that's about XBRL. Now it's about learning curve because on the title you can see the terms learning curve as well. Okay, learning curves uh, describe the, rela the relationship between how well a learner or an organization performs a task. In this case, uh, the implementations of XBRL. So how well an organization performs the implementations and the time or the frequency if the, the organization takes to improve so this is the the performance and this is the number of attempts so if you see the you, we can see the relationship right 
it means that the more attempt that the organization does related to the XBR implementations and the better the performance will uh, they can get. Okay, that's I think that's clear enough. So if we back to the uh, to the, the title, it means that the study will aim to will aim, uh, the, the study aims to develop a strategy selections framework for optimizing XBRL implementations and then uh, try to link the strategy with the concept of learning curve that I already explained. Now, now about the backgrounds. Uh, so since early 2012, the Indonesia Stock Exchange or IDX has initiated the development of XBRL best reporting called the IDX taxonomy. And by using this taxonomy, the publicly listed companies send their financial reports to IDX via the XBRL best B2G reporting system, which is called IDXNet. Besides IDX, actually, there are there were two government agencies that implement XBRL best B2G reporting. They they were Bank Indonesia and Directorate General of Taxes or DGT. Okay, for the research methods, we we adopt a qualitative research design to achieve uh, its objective of developing a strategy selection framework for optimizing XBRO uh, implementations linked to the concept of learning curve. The primary data collection method uh, which was used is key informant interviews. And then the research involves a key Indonesian government agency that plays a significant role in financial reporting and regulations, i.e. the Indonesia Stock Exchange or IDX. Again, the data collected from these interviews were analyzed were analyzed using thematic analysis for the systematic identification, analysis, and reporting of patterns or themes within the data. Okay, for the findings, this study examined two key entities involved in business to government reporting or B2G reporting. They were the business refer as the reporter or or filler and the government's agency which was the IDX. And then we identified cost related uh, challenges affecting both parties, the business and the government agencies. Specifically the reporting costs for the fillers and the costs associated with the processing XBRL reports for the government agency or IDX. We found that fillers lack expertise in using XBRL, which required them to hire consultants, and this in turn significantly increased the cost of filing. Similarly, in the prior, prior studies, uh, Hanem 2006 also highlighted that companies were justified in their concern about increased costs. So similarly, uh, agencies also needed tenders or consultants help in the XBRL implementation. So both parties business and also government, all of them needs uh, consultants. And then this in turn significantly increase the cost of filing. So this is our finding for this research.
Okay, uh, according to the literature, there are three approaches in XBRL implementations. Okay, in the previous literature, companies or banks or pillars or company can implement XBRL in their implementation systems using one of the three approaches, built on, built in, or deeply abandoned. That's according to Garbelotto and Rawan in 2014. Okay, the bulk of method involves tagging or mapping financial data after the reporting process is completed. And while the built-in approach integrates the tagging or mapping directly into the financial reporting workflow. But with the bold odd method, organizations can perform the mapping internally using an XBRL mapping tool, or maybe they can outsource the conversion process to external service provider. On the other hand, the abandoned approach, abandoned approach, which is the, the, the third approach, standardized internal reporting by in incorporating mapping capabilities directly into ERP systems and accounting ledger, streamlining the overall process. So this is the three approaches in the XBR implementations. Okay, now is our recommendations. If you see here, this is our framework. How, how then the pillars or the reporters can choose the three approaches that are already explained here, the three approaches, both on, built in, and deeply abandoned based on the previous literature. And then how then the pillars or the companies can choose this based on their learning curve. If we go back here, the learning curve based on their learning curve. So this is the their performance, and this is the number of their feelings. So the more feelings that they do, and then the higher performance that they will get. So, uh, and then, and then if you see these three, this is the, and this is the point or like milestone that they can get uh, in order to choose which approach that they can use to implement the XBRL based on their learning curve. So if you see here, there's, there are three milestones here, both on outsourcing, both on internally, or internal both on, or built-in. Okay. Um, so uh, we recommend that pillars choose the approach based on their XBRL learning curve within the organizations. For the first milestone is for both on outsourcing. It means that the pillars or the reporters can choose this approach when there are, you know, no one or, or or no one or just small number of people in organizations understands how to take, how to map the financial statement to XBRL. Then they can choose this one. So it's like maybe the number of their feelings still three, five, something like that then the performance still low, and then they can choose both on sorting. It means that they can choose um, consultants to do so because there is, there was no one, uh, there is no one in the pillars organizations or the reporters organization who can understand, who understand how to track the map or how to track and how the map the financial statement to um, XBRL elements. So, and then, the second one, once, once the number of their feeling is getting higher, and then it means that their performance is getting higher as well. So when the number of their feeling is more and more, and then, and then their, their performance will be better and better. And then at that time, at that point, once the learning curve is with at that point, and then the tagging and mapping can be completed by themselves or via both own internally. So we don't need 
and we don't, it, they don't know they they no longer need the, the help of consultants or vendor so once they already know how to do this one uh, the internal bolt form which is tagging and then they can make the process of tagging which is manual manual tagging and then they can do automatically which means that they can do the building once the pillars of their people have reached pro pcmc this one pro pcmc is a uh, star they they i think they may we 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 believe that they they can consider the next approaches which is a uh, building approach which means that they can integrate the mapping process the mapping process into the reporting process so it will be automatically in the erp system so this three is uh, i mean uh, with this framework by having these frameworks and then the pillars or the reporter can choose which um which approach that they they can use uh, based on their learning curve in the xbrr implementations okay now conclusion um this study under, underscores the critical role of the learning curve in XBRL implementations, highlighting the challenges and opportunities it presents. The findings demonstrate the cost, expertise, and vendor availability are significant barriers to XBRL adoptions in Indonesia. To address these challenges, the proposed strategy selections framework provides a practical roadmap for the reporters, the fillers, the organizations at different stages of the learning curve. By transitioning from both on outsourcing to internal both on and eventually to built in systems, organizations can progressively reduce costs and enhance internal capability. Additionally, in the long term, incorporating XBRL education into academic curriculum is this study recommend to address the shortage of the skilled professionals. Okay, everyone, that's my presentations of my research. Hopefully, um, it will have a benefit uh, for all of us. Thank you very much. And assalamu alaikum.